Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm back again. It's the end of the month, it's the beginning of June, so it is time for my completed colouring pages. I have a stack of books here, I've got one, two, three, Seven, eight, nine. I've got 13 books here that I've coloured in. Uh, one of them's got about five pictures coloured in, four or five pictures in, so there's more than 13. Not as many as last month, but I did a lot more pencil work this month, which I'm really pleased with. So let's crack on and we'll go through them. So, first of all, I did a, uh, this is when I did the most in, and it's. Um, Easy Flower Mandalas by Stefania Miro. These again, these are ones I like to do while I'm in bed or watching a television and just chilling out at night, trying to relax. Especially if I can't sleep, I'll just, uh, you know, sit there and let, you know, go in sparing while Paul snoozes away. So I think this was done with the Crayola Super Tips looking at that, I would say. And it wouldn't have taken me long, but I do enjoy doing them. And again, that would have been done with the create. Oops, that's, put, that's ripping off. That's me ripping instead of pulling. Again, Crayola Super Tips on that one. I don't even remember doing these. That shows you how long May has been. Link Shine Gel Pens on that one. I do remember my Link Shine Gel Pens. I'll be ordering some more of those again. Uh, that's one I've done before, and I think this is last one, so four in this one. And uh, that one was done with Sharpies. That was was one of the ones that I did sitting up in bed watching TV. So, patterns, not a lot to say, just patterns. The next one is from one of the Colour in Heavens. This is the Mermaid Special. This is a book of Selena Fennec designs. So I've got some of these in, because I've got some of her books. I haven't got all the mermaids, but I've done one in this one. because I am trying to use up all my um, Colour in Heaven books, because I've got so many of them. I'm trying to do one in each picture. So I did this one, which is Pearl Princess. And this was done with Crayola pencils. This was done with Crayola coloured pencils. So this just goes to show that you don't need a high-end pencil. You can create nice artwork using a child's pencil and I will be doing a video on that at some point. So even down to the skin tones, everything was done with, everything was done with Crayola. I'm really, really pleased with the way that that came out. I am absolutely so happy with it that it came out as well as it did, considering. You always think about Crayola, you think, oh, isn't they're not going to be any good for using, for colouring. I really like this picture. I love the way it looks. So um, I might have to seal them back off of Jennifer or get another set for myself at some point. I think that's probably what I'll have to do. So there you go. Next one again, Colour in Heaven. This is Gothic Fairies. I love this book. This is my Cajolina, and I'm doing loads in this one. Now, as you remember, we did that one. And I did Cassandra. We did this one on camera. I will probably do more in this one again. I'll probably do another one this month. I do like this book. Again, I used the Everblend markers. I might do one with pencils next time. You never know. Um, but yeah, that was one with the Everblends. I do love those other blend markers, they are amazing. Uh, Jade Summer now, there's a few of those to come. I'm sorry, I'm losing all my stickies. I try and use my stickies one, two or three times if I can until they stop sticking. I did one in Cute Witches. This is the only one I did for halfway to Halloween. And um, this is this one. Um, a lot of people did this one this month. And I'm trying to think, what did I do that with? I think that was with Black Widows. Yeah, I'm sure that was done with Black Widows. Just goes to show I can't remember and I don't write it down. I should start writing it down really. Most of the time I can remember. So I like that picture, quite pleased with that one. Uh, next I did a couple in Intricate Flowers by Jade Summer. Like I said, I'm loads in Jade Summer this month. And again, this is one I'm doing in order that they're in the book. 
So this one was done with the toy markers. In fact, both of the two of them were. I've done three actually in this one. I didn't realise that. This was done with the toy markers. I I did think about doing a background, and then I decided not to, so I didn't. And then again, this was done with the toy markers, and I did do a background with it. <laughs> So I quite like it with the background. So I think it's gonna it's gonna be one of those where I think, mm, yes, no. And this one was done with a various glitter gel pens, but no background. So you can see it shining a bit. I think yeah, you can. Um, so I used some of the uh, Link Shines and just some uh, random gel pens on that one. I quite like the way that that, that looks. That look, th this book is gonna look really nice with glitter gel. I think. I will definitely be I'm going to keep this book out and do some more in that with the glitter pens. I love glitter gel pens. So I'll pop that one there with the Kawaii Horror that I'm still coming in. Um, we did one in the Grayscale Fairies colouring book. We did this one on camera, which was this one. I'm really pleased with this. It, it did get a very, very good um, response uh, in the Jade Summer group got lots of likes and lots of comments and I'm really pleased with it. Again, this was done with um, the Arteza Everblends and some glitter gel pens on the like balls and the stars and on her wings. Really pleased with that one. Uh, and that one did get a very good response on the Jade Summer group. Another Jade Summer now. This is one of the ones I do pictures in, ev again, every month. And this month I did this one, and again this is done with Sharpies. This one is a 100 Magical Patterns. This one I keep by my bed. I, I, the pattern ones I do tend to keep by the bed so I can just grab them and have a, have a play and just colour what I feel like at night. So we did that one. Again this is going to go into a separate pile because I will want to keep this. Uh, next is... Oh, dark fantasy. I finally did one in here. I haven't done one in light fantasy, so maybe I'll do that this month. Uh, so in light uh, fantasy, I did this lovely vampire uh, lady. This was done with polychromos. <laughs> yeah, all polychromos on that one. And I thought I'm going to do her grey because you always see the, the vampires are either too pink or they're, you know, and I, so I just used the, the I used the cool grey on her and the warm greys on the background. Really like that. Love the way that came out. Again, good response from Jade Summer, but not as good as the other one. I, I'm really pleased with the other one. So that's that one. Mystical Beauties of Colour in Heaven special. This is an old one. This, this is fairly old. It's uh, issue 32. Uh, Zan Von Z. And I did this one. And I'm going to be honest, I cannot remember what pencils that was. No, I can. That was done with the Faber-Castell Classics. And the reason it was done with that was so I'd have something to show when I do the... Um, I've only got one other picture done with them that I'm happy to show. And again, it was all done with the Faber-Castell Classics, even the skin tones. So the skin tones in there are a bit dodgy. I, I know I can go a bit darker with that now. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that one as well. I am sweltering. I'm putting the fan on as soon as I finish. We've only got a few more to go. Creative Haven Flower Mandelas. Well, again, when I do most of months, I do one in here. I love the way that this pops. This was done with the toy markers. Excuse me sniffling. And I just love the way they look so vibrant on this paper against this black background that I will definitely be using the toy markers in this book again. It's it just looks amazing. I think it's just so bright and vibrant. We're slowly getting there. That can go in my pile to keep out. And the next one is Fantasy Princesses. So this is the picture. I haven't actually marked it. This is the one that I did for the Black Widows video, which you will either have seen or will be seeing fairly shortly. I also need to put this up on the, the uh, Colour in Heaven group page because I haven't yet. And that's this one. This is a Black Mage Princess. This is all done with the Black Widows. So I'm looking forward to getting that video up because I'm really proud of this picture. I think this is one of my favourites so far. Again, I'm getting 
more to grips with the skin tones I've made a note of what I've used on this one so I can refer back to it and I might even uh, grab a notebook in a bit and, and jot those down because I am so pleased with the way this came out I just love it um, yeah and I know I can go darker on the skin tone and, and it's, it'll still be fine so I love that one next one is a fairy special this is the newest uh, book uh, this is the one that came out in May and I did this one which was just called Flirt and again this was done with Polychromos I used Polychromos a bit this month and I'm going to be using them again next month because I'm doing a Kobe Rosanis one with them um, but yeah so there's that one there's only one more to show you after this one again this is a lovely book the artist is Jana Prosverina and these are just beautiful there is a flip through if you want to have a look I do want to do some more from this book and I'll probably use uh, do one with Prismacolors, I'll probably do one in Markers and I'll probably do one with Black Widows. Last book, no last but one book is another Jade, no it is the last book, Jade Summer. 100 Swirls, yes it's another pattern book. I love the Jade Summer pattern books and there's still tons I haven't got. Know what I'll be ordering this month? I'm trying not to. Uh, yeah I only did one in this one um, like I said I'm trying to do one in every single book I've got and I've still got a load of Jade Summers I haven't coloured in and I did this one and this was done with the main part of the picture the flowers and this part of the background was done with the twine markers this part of the background was done with a sharpie and I actually really like it I think it looks quite nice so yeah so those are all the pictures I coloured in May. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, which is your favourite. And uh, leave me a comment, let me know down below. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you want to. And don't forget to uh, share this video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you are, just hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I put up another video, which will be very, very soon. I hope you're keeping well and I will see you all soon. Take care peeps. Bye.